Are you ready? Go. No, no, yeah. <laughs> Hello. And good morning. It is 6.40 in the morning. Uh, yesterday was chaos. Nothing went to plan. I went to the thrift store. Okay, so the backstory here is I started going to thrift stores in college. It was 2006, 2007. We would go just for fun. And then, things changed. I got a job and at this job, they had pretty notorious promotional material. When they were done with it, they would throw it away. I thought, let's see if we can sell this. I asked, and I put it up for sale on eBay. Everything sold almost instantaneously. It was great. That's when I learned I could make decent money on eBay. In 2006, we're talking seven or eight hundred dollars. Every time they would change promotional materials, so four months. I was in college, I just went to partying anyways. Fast forward a couple of years, I kept going to thrift stores to find things to sell. And I kept selling more and more things, which was great. See, things weren't great because I wasn't making a lot of money at my job job. Uh, so all I ended up doing was taking the extra money that I was earning from selling things going to the thrift store and using it to just live. I moved to Aspen, moved to LA, and things were really good. And during the pandemic, a lot of those thrift stores stayed open, so it really subsidized my income a lot, and I was able to stay pretty fashionable. LA thrift stores are great. Now that I live in Denver, thrift stores aren't that great, but old habits die hard, so I catch myself pretty regularly going to the thrift store to burn off time because I have a lot of free time on my hands. I don't particularly care for it, but that's what I do. That's the backstory. Whatever I do, put up for sale. eBay, link in the description below. <laughs> These full double knee car hearts. Um, just original Carhartt, not WIP. If they're WIP, I'm keeping them immediately, uh, regardless. 24 bucks, can't beat it. Um, they're big, they're size 36. Now, I bought these because I really liked everything that gallery department was doing. Photo. But it's just a lot of work, and, um, and then I also don't have the skill set to make them like flared. They're, uh, they're super wide leg, which is coming back in style. I got this hat. It's a corduroy. I don't know if you can, can't see. Um, and it's a rope hat. Six bucks. Patagonia jeans. I don't like these. I don't like denim that comes in stretch fabric. I think that's cheap. I just know that they'll sell because people like Patagonia jeans. I think they're like $100 retail. I paid, I think $12 for them. Brand new condition. Like no signs of wear anywhere. So those are size 36, 36, 32. These I was super hyped on. So these are uh, true salvage denim. But if you look here, the hem has been altered. Uh, vintage cut. The big E. 1954 Levi's. The zipper fly. Uh, selvage denim, little signs of wear. Um, it says that they're 3434. They are not. I was gonna keep these. I like them a lot, but they don't fit because I'm fat and I'm tall-ish. It really bugs me that somebody had these hemmed. 3434 would have been so perfect, and you just fucking ruined them by doing this to it. All right, what can you do? The damage is done. And then I got a bunch of random stuff. Um, I do know a lot about skiing and ski boots. There's a little bit of damage here on the toe. Um, it looks like somebody tried to make the shell bigger, but I mean, the walk looks fine. 
uh, 26.5 full tilt boots. Uh, they don't make these anymore. This brand went out of business. It got bought by K2. So I'm sure some folks will grab these up just because full tilt has a very special place in a lot of uh, free skiers hearts. Um, I bought these for 15 bucks. Not bad. I bought the Levi's for 10 bucks. I just went off on a whim. Sorry, you're coming with me. And bought a suitcase. It's a Tumi bag. I got it for $12. Um, everything's in okay condition. There's a couple of zippers missing here. And it looks like, I don't know if it's mold or just dirt. Um, monogrammed. So not the best, but I'm gonna take it into the Toomey luggage store here in Denver and see if I can't get those zippers replaced. This espresso machine, I was like on the fence about. It didn't come with the grate. It didn't come with the cup that goes in there. But um, I was like, I think $12, sure. I'm gonna take this apart. I like, I am aware of the, of the brand. Totally works. They made a bunch of YouTube videos a long time ago called Will It Blend? And they would put like eight cell phones in there. It was absolutely crazy. I loved every one of them. I got that, 10 bucks. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna make smoothies. I got smoothie material. I spent $30 to make smoothies with that cost six bucks at Jamba Juice. I don't know, I haven't been to Jamba Juice in a long time, so I don't know if it cost six bucks. Some random stuff, Starbucks cups, this cool Waffle House mug. I think a pretty productive day at the thrift store. Some of the stuff I'll see if I can fix. Some of the stuff I will keep. Some of the stuff will be on my eBay probably later today. Hopefully get that edited down. Take some photos of it, get it posted. Later.